The 2022 Taste of Tippecanoe is just four days away, and as one of the largest annual events in Greater Lafayette, staying safe is a top priority for organizers and attendees. News 18's Cameron DeBlasio spoke with the Lafayette Police Department about how they're preparing to handle Saturday's crowd. The Taste of Tippecanoe draws over 10,000 people every year to downtown Lafayette. And those big crowds mean a lot of planning for emergency personnel. Officers with the Lafayette Police Department say they and their partners are ready and hope attendees will be too. With the recent mass shootings across the United States, safety is at the forefront of organizers' minds for this year's Taste of Tippecanoe. Lafayette Police Sergeant Scott Anderson says LPD is fully prepared for the thousands of visitors expected in downtown on Saturday. We have not increased anything. We've always uh, had a very... Um, robust display there in the first place. Anderson says people can expect much of the same from previous years when it comes to safely entering the taste. Expect delays. It's going to take a while to get through the gate, um, especially if you get there right at the beginning. If you don't want to deal with that, maybe wait and come an hour late. Um, so you don't have to stand in that line to get through the gate. Event director Ann Fields Monocle says some of the entry delays are due to long-standing safety measures. We've always kind of looked at what's brought into the event. You know, we train our volunteers to kind of look in people's bags. She also says the safety meetings leading up to the taste have been reassuring to event organizers and should reassure the public too. Our law enforcement, I think they're, you know, really with it. They're very clear in communicating, you know, and recognizing that there are concerns um, and being proactive is the at the best way they can be. For Sergeant Anderson, one of the best safety reminders, stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water. It's going to be very hot this week. It's going to be very hot on Saturday as well, so make sure you're uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of beverages there, but make sure you drink water to go with those beverages as well. Sergeant Anderson says if you do need medical assistance, there will be emergency personnel on site. Now, Sergeant Anderson says they respond to more calls of heat exhaustion and heat stroke at the taste than anything else, which is another big reason to drink a lot of water. Fields Monaco says there will also be more shaded seating areas this year than normal to prepare for unusually high temperatures. Reporting in studio, Cameron DeBlasio, News 18.